Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and today I'm sharing with you ascending and descending um, study unit, what is ascending and descending, how you can teach and the activities around it. So let's get going. Let me show it to you, the amazing printable that I created. So starting with descending order, I've explained when numbers are arranged from largest to smallest, they go top to bottom. So the picture describes here and here, which is largest to smallest. Remember, descending starts with D and down starts with D too. So D and D, that's something that the kids can always relate and understand. Using the same concept, I have explained ascending. When numbers are arranged from smallest to largest, they go bottom to top. Ascending order is opposite of descending. So you could see that there is a vast difference between both the pictures and for the kids to understand. And here, remember, ascending goes up. Sorry, that should be up. We start from the small number first. So it's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the arrow is going towards up. Uh, another example of ascending and descending, which is smallest to largest and largest to smallest. So one, two, three, four with the pictorial images for kids to understand. Now we have some activities here, which is arrange the numbers in ascending order from five to 11. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. that's already been done. The numbers are arranged from smaller to the largest number. Write the numbers in ascending order. So the first one is done here. The rest of them, the kids need to do. Again, just for reinforcing the concept, the plane is taking off, which is ascending. So a picture showing taking off. The next one is, uh, this one needs to be done in uh, descending order. And the plane is descending down. So again, the same uh, numbers, but for descending. Now circle the largest number in each slide, then underline a number lesser than that. So they have to circle the number that's largest, and then they need to underline the number that is lesser than that. So underline 30, uh, circle 36 and lesson number 35. So for all the 10, they have to do the same. Circle the smallest number in each line and then underline a number one more than that. Now circle the smallest number. You have to find the smallest number, circle it, and then underline a number one than that. So the same thing needs to be done here for all the numbers. Okay, I have arranged the numbers in ascending order. Check my word and give me a star every time a question is right. So in this, what you need to do is the numbers, each one, they have been organized according to the person as ascending. If you think that is ascending and it's absolutely right, okay, then you give me a star or you give me a circle or you give me a tick. But if it's not, you would need to just give it a cross. Arrange the numbers in ascending and descending top. So here you do ascending, here you do descending, the numbers are right here. So you have a lot to do for practice. Guys, uh, I would just say I'll be happy to share this activity for the first 10 people who are going to leave a comment to say they want this freebie. I would be happy to email it to you directly. So make sure if you really want this copy and you want to do, uh, you want your kids to do the descending order and ascending order activities, make sure that you just leave a comment saying I need the copy, Sonali. Thank you very much. Okay, moving on. Please rearrange it in descending order in the grid next to it. Example is done. So the numbers are done here and you need to organize it in descending order. So one is already done here. The second one you need to do. Then you have a couple of things to do here. Now what is descending? Also write 20 descending numbers. So the child needs to now explain and write what is descending order and needs to write 20 descending questions. Now the child needs to just write descending numbers here and ascending numbers here. Ascending, you have to mention now what is ascending and 20 ascending numbers. And this is a sheet for rough work. So I hope guys you've enjoyed this video. Make sure that you don't forget to subscribe. And if you really like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see any other concept, just leave a comment below. I'll be happy to share and happy uh, to reply to all your questions. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.